Hey everyone, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to uh, kind of go over a tutorial I already did before and uh, but I'm going to go over the different software. So how to do it in different software versions or not just versions but different applications completely. So um, what, pe what people are liking to do is take a graphic and um, cut the mascot out here um, over the vinyl here. So they don't want his power clip in it, they actually want to cut it. So um, I'm going to show you a quick way to do it in Corel Draw. So I'm just going to make this green. I'm going to put it here on top. You highlight them both. Use the intersect tool here. And what I'm doing over here is I'm going to click it just to give it a color, like red. So now I simply take this guy and throw him away. And you have that look right there where you have the uh, panther mascot inside the panther pride. Now, right now, this is currently just sitting on top of it. So you would actually cut this out in vinyl and this in vinyl, and it sits on top of it. If you didn't want it to sit on top of it and you want it to actually be trapped in it, um, you would take to the same thing that I just did, but you'd take one additional step and you would actually do uh, a front minus back. So I'm going to undo this and put this guy back. Take this guy, take this one, say front minus back. And now you have the same look because this was behind it, but it's actually cut out of there. So now this is sitting inside of it. It's trapped inside of it. Um, if you ever do this, usually you want to contour it a little bit and do an overlap. So if you notice that this is going to line up perfect, you want to overlap it or underlap it a little bit. So that's how you do it in Corel. Okay, now I'm going to do the same demonstration, but I'm going to use Oobling software. So we have the Panther here. Uh, I'm going to basically put it up there. You want to grab both of these, and there's a tool here, a welding tool, which is this. It's, it says and weld, but what it means is it means to intersect it. So if I click this button, it will actually intersect these two pieces here. But all you'll see is the intersection. It does not keep the X, any other parts. So if I click this to show you, it shows you what parts intersect. So I'm going to undo that. So what I want to do is I want to actually take the panther. I'm going to control C and um, I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to do that, that weld here. There's that. I want to take this. I'm going to give it a color. Let's just say red, pink, whatever I want. Control V and I get this back here, this panther pride. So now I want to bring this to the back, which is a control B to the back. And then I want to put this and line it back up here. And so now it's the same thing. You have this um, panther. Let's see, we can make it any color we want. But um, you have that on top of it. So two separate pieces. So if I take this and uh, let me group it. So I have this piece sitting on top of that piece. Or another thing is if you want to cut it out, you would actually highlight these both and you want to trap it, use this one, this welding tool. When you do a basic weld, now whoops, let me undo this. Now you have this piece sitting inside of here. So see that one's cut out and this sits inside of there. So one of them sits on top, the other one actually is trapped in it. So that's how you do it in Oobling. All right, now I'm going to try the same thing in uh, Silhouette Studio. This is version 3, um, and I'm not really good or familiar with it, so I just kind of uh, typed in Panther Pride, brought in this file as a, I believe it was like a DXF, which is a CAD file. Um, I had to mess around with this guy to get it to look like this because it has, before it had these as colors, and so I had to do subtracting and stuff. But anyways, I'm just kind of, playing around to see how I would get the same effect with the letters. So what I did was I already sized them and everything, but here's something that's very strange to me. Um, this this program doesn't seem very powerful. It, it seems really basic and um, it ha seems like it has some limitations to the size of files. When I imported things, it takes a while. The undo takes a while. So I'm not a big fan of it, but you know, I guess this is what comes with some of the cameo. So uh, this is all you have to deal with. This is the way I would do this. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V to paste it. And then next, 
at this point I would this is what I thought I should do under object uh, modify you have some basic features here I'm gonna say modify options so you can see them over here I would have thought that you take these two and you intersect it to get the intersecting pieces but whenever I do that it doesn't work at least for me so I don't know if that's because um, the pieces here aren't um, combined together or they're not grouped or whatever but I tried all kinds of things I couldn't get that part to work so what I did find that works is if I just take this guy here and I um, and I crop it I get this which is the intersecting parts which is exactly what I want so I'm gonna go up here give it a color like red um, then this guy here I, I really don't even need this if I want to actually I'll put him back if I want to just overlay this I can move him out of the list. I could actually take this now and uh, group it together actually I can just right click here group it together and then he'll fit right over this so I could take this guy just kinda just use the other one for lining up purposes I can take this one here move out of the way so I got that look I was going for. Move it over. Just kind of line this stuff up exactly how I want it. So <clears throat> that's an overlay way. If you wanted to do it where it's punched through, I'm going to move all this back. Control Z, Control Z. Um, then at this point here, I would actually take this guy, go back to these options here. Oops modify so you can see them here and um, I would basically subtract this and it knocks out this guy right here then this guy here will fit right inside so if I do it that way that's more of the trapping method where uh, the letter uh, sits inside of the other piece. The other way, I just um, had the intersecting part and I put it on top. So that's the way I would do it in this program. Like I said, there might be an easier way. I, I thought the intersect would work, but I couldn't get it to work. So this is the way I did it. I just took them, uh, overlaid them, and I used the crop tool to get to get this piece, and I put it right back on top. Or uh, do that and then take this one and do a subtract and then it all sit in there like it's trapped inside of it.